Whenever I feel stuck or a little lost in life, there are a couple tools and strategies that I use to help me get back on track and that's what I wanna share with you in today's video. To be completely honest with you, this video right now, me talking to you, is part of this experiment. To me, running experiments is huge. This is a way that you can dip in, dabble in something without having to commit to it fully. I've also learned this from Tim Ferriss. To run an experiment that you're gonna learn something from just by doing. Just from running the experiment, whether that it's successful or not, you're going to come out with a new set of skills, more knowledge, etc. I'm gonna come out knowing how to edit videos better. I'm gonna come out knowing how to shoot videos, lighting. There's this entire piece around shooting video that I'm learning in this process of creating this channel and trying these videos. So yes, let me try this for a couple months, see how it goes and learn a bunch along the way. Running experiments that you're gonna gain something from just from doing period is a great place to start. Number two, what are you curious about? So this doesn't mean you have to commit to it fully. And so right now I just said, what am I curious about? I'm curious about minimalism, creativity, productivity. And that's where this YouTube channel comes in. I'm also very curious about music. I'm documenting the process. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know where this YouTube channel is going to go. And I'm not overthinking that part of like having to have the end in mind. I'm just curious about it. I'm also learning how to dance right now. Not saying I'm going to be a professional dancer, but there's enough of an idea that I'm curious about it to say, let me at least try it out. When I have conversations with friends or other people about this idea, some people say, yeah, I don't even know what I'm curious about right now. I've only, I've been working for 10, 15, 20 years. I forget what my, my interests outside of work are. So then I say, what interested you as a kid? My mom right now is about to retire. She was like, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. And I said, mom, you've told me before you liked horses growing up, you love animals, you like gardening. So one of my things would be, if you don't know what your interests, your passions are, whatever are right now, What'd you do as a kid? And maybe start there and try that again. Another tool and strategy that I often use for this is to ask people what they're doing and if they like it. And recently I've started to toy with the idea of maybe trying something else. And so I was thinking about being a professor, but before going, just jumping into a school, PhD program, starting to research, I said, let me talk to some professors first. After having conversations with a few professors, just Googling, watching some YouTube videos, I realized, that wasn't the path for me, but there were pieces about that position that I really liked. So I said, how can I take those and how can I put those maybe into something else? So talk to people who are doing it, shadow them if you can, try it even better and see if it's something you actually wanna do. This last point is one of the most important. Rather than trying to follow your passion, think about what does your ideal lifestyle look like? What does that entail? I know I like to travel, so I need something that is remote and flexible. I know I want something that involves learning and teaching. I also realized I wanted something that is, I'm passionate about and is intense, but doesn't take up all my time. So for me, thinking about what does that lifestyle look like? And then what type of work can I fit into that picture has been a tool that I come back to time and time again. Incredibly useful for me to figure out less what do I wanna do and more what type of a life do I wanna live and then how can I figure out my work around that. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. If there's something you want me to talk about, if you have something you wanna learn about, drop it in the comments below. Again, this is my experiment. I'm seeing where this goes and we'll see. We'll see how many episodes I make it in and if it's something that I like and we'll see what happens. Thank you, I appreciate y'all and I'll check you on the next one. Peace.